Angela Hill. So here's the Muay Thai striker Angela Hill training under the great Eric Del Fierro at Alliance MMA there in Southern California. Her best days are ahead of her undeniably. Went the distance with Jessica Andrade back in 2017, and that really put her back on the radar of UFC fans. She had spent a year outside the octagon. What did she do? Realized an Invicta FC strawweight title. So we'll see what Angela over Kill Hill has in store here tonight. This girl has ridiculous power in her kicks. Her kicking technique is supreme, and she is one of the best knockout artists in this division with her legs. Good for her to try to stay on the outside and utilize those extremely powerful kicks. The karate hottie Michelle Watterson. Injuries have been part of the narrative, but when she can't... event against Paige Van Zant. Quite the business trip. She got PBZ out of there in the first round, thus setting herself up for a run at the 115 pound title. This girl has amazing top control. She is so good at keeping the fight on the ground. Once she gets you there, it is very rare that you see her. Our tail of the tape for this strawweight fight. Two years apart, these two. Ready to fight? Ready. And we are live and underway here at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. All right, Angela Hill is ready to go in round one. Her current form, undeniably the best of her UFC career. She is super aggressive out of the shoot and derives a lot of confidence, of course, from her training camp, Alliance MMA. She believes iron sharpens iron and feels like any challenge that she could see tonight on fight night, she has already seen in the gym. We'll see if Hill can start quickly as she has done so often in the past here tonight. Both fighters slow to attack, trying to get their timing down. That one hurt. Another nice kick, very solid. An effective punch there by Angela Hill. Oh, what a leg kick. Good exchanges from both fighters. Man. She's done. This could be it right here. Oh, Big shots. Very nice. She checked that leg kick, Joe. Oh, effective strike there by the karate hottie. Well, she got her head snapped back with that jab, Joe, and she continues to show a vulnerability here by almost leaning right into her opponent's range. Let's see if she can move that upper body and get her head off the center line. Oh, nice technique to land that kick. Two minutes remain in the round. Oh, nice punch there by Waters. Straight right hand. But she misses. Watterson gets stung by that leg kick. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. Oh, she gets tagged. Nice combination. Wow. Nice jab by the karate hottie. Whoa. Oh. A huge roundhouse kick for the knockout. Absolutely, Joe, a tremendous kick. And when her career is said and done, this might be the highlight that everybody is talking about as she ends her opponent's night with as many style points as you could want. She catches her flush, full force, full extension. You got to think she's getting a performance bonus for that one. Let's take a look at that again. Check it out again. Bang. The official decision is in. That's where we find Bruce Buffer. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 55 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Angela Overkill Hill. Well, she's got all the tools, Joe, and she certainly put them to good use tonight as she gets the win and gets so with style points by way of the knockout. No judges needed for this one, and you can be sure her bankroll is going to be fatter on Monday morning. She'll probably get a bonus. At the very least, though, the celebration is on. You see there with her coaches and her teammates. Nothing better in all of pro sports than to win a mixed martial arts fight at the highest level. Congratulations. It's a middleweight matchup between Uriah Primetime Hall and the American gangster, Shale P. Summer. All right, so here he is, the polarizing, the inimitable Shale P. Sonnen, former middleweight title challenger. You can't call him the champion. He was unable to finish the job against Anderson Silva back in 2010. But Shale is unfazed as he presses forward here in another title eliminator type situation. Let's see if Shale Sonnen can move another step closer to that elusive UFC goal. In my opinion, Chael Sonnen is the greatest trash talker in the history of combat sports. He is the greatest hype man sports has ever known. And don't... So here's Uriah Hall, started training for self-defense at 16 years old and very quickly realized just how talented and skilled he was. This is an outstanding striker. Some of the best legs and kicks we have in the game, not just in this middleweight division, but on this roster, top to bottom, more than 10 wins by knockout or TKO to his credit. The Jamaican-born Uriah Primetime Hall in another big spot tonight. This guy has world-class takedown defense. He is incredibly difficult to take down, and once you do get him down, he gets back to his feet. Our tail of the tape for this much-anticipated middleweight encounter. So two years, the gap in age. You ready? You ready? Let's go and with that, we are underway here at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. All right, so here is Uriah Hall ready to go for round one. We'll see if he can return to his winning ways here tonight. Biggest win of his career, certainly against Gegard Mousasi. That came early in round two, and he got off to a good start that night. We'll see if Uriah Hall can get off to a fast start here tonight. Just misses with the jab there. Joe, how do you think he approaches this challenge tonight? One thing to keep an eye out for are the wrestling and the takedowns of Chael Sonnen. Hit him with the Superman punch. That's a nice leg kick right there. Sonnet gets caught by the straight punch. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Hall. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Nice crack there. Shale Sonnet gets hit with a kick. Blitz the guard, connects with the punch there, Joe. Just missed. With the straight left hand. Under three minutes to go in round one. Paul gets caught by the inside leg. He landed that punch flush. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Very nice kicks. Really missed with that right hand. Nice inside leg kick lands. The oh, he landed an there, uppercut. Sonnen 
Ryan's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. And he connects there, Joe. Now to go in the fight. Oh! Oh, straight right. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Chael. Straight right, he misses. Straight punch gets through. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Second round underway. All right, so here we go. Second round is underway. Pretty good first round, Joe. Crowd seem to like it. Not the greatest round you'll ever see, but good high-level action on both sides. Both fighters had their moments. We'll see, though, here in round two if there is less of a feeling out process and more of an uptick in the aggression here. Round two underway. Joe, he's really got to start mixing things up a little bit more, change levels, work the body a little bit. You know he's realized a lot of success working the head. Don't be afraid to work that body. Let me show you the total strikes. That bruise on his outer thigh is really getting nasty. Nice punch there by Sonnen. Inside leg kick. Joe, that kicking game has been on point tonight. Good kicks. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Chan. He's got a beautiful leg kick. Good kick. He mixes it up with the kicks. Straight right hand, no good. Nice inside leg kick. Hall gets caught with that punch. He's limping. He appears to be injured. Checks the leg kick. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Nice combination of strikes from the full guard. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Chael. There he goes. That's it. Boom. Nice jab there by Sonnen. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Sonnen gets caught with that punch. Oh, nice. Another knockdown! <laughs> Try to establish that jab. Nice jab by Chan. What a wild exchange! Oh, he's landed some good shots here. All right, so back to the well with the jab now. We didn't really see it from him much in round two. Entirely different narrative in round two as he goes right back to it. Yep. Look at that. He's timing that jab. Landing a good series of strikes here. Shale's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Well-placed kick there by Hall. All right, oh, round three coming up next. Oh. Wow, full domination this round. All right, here we go, third and final round. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Brutal that is it. Kick. That's it, the fight's over. Got the stoppage from a nasty leg kick.
Yeah, Joe, it was those hellacious leg kicks that ultimately led to the stoppage win for him in this one. And again, when you become a one-legged fighter, you are a sitting duck in the water. And ultimately, that's what happened. The leg kick took away the lead leg, and ultimately, the TKO victory comes shortly thereafter. So you don't see that every day in the UFC. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at 25 seconds of round number three. To play the winner by TKO Chad All right, so another big night in a career full of them for the one, the only, Chael P. Sonnen as he gets his hand raised here tonight. A little bit of a subdued celebration out of the Sonnen camp. You know they have visions of UFC middleweight gold, and they are going to stop at nothing until they get there. All right, coming up next, it's a bantamweight matchup between Brian Carraway and Rafael Asunza. So we get another look tonight, Joe, at the perennial contender, Rafael Asuncao, comes from a fighting family. His brothers, Junior and Freddie, also mixed martial arts athletes. And here's a criminally underappreciated guy. He hasn't been able to get over the proverbial hump at 135 pounds, but Joe, when he's on, this guy is one of the better bantamweights on the planet, night in, night out. This guy can keep a pace that very few human beings can match. His cardio is absolutely outstanding. Well, the crowd pops as this guy makes the walk to the octagon, and you can see why if you've watched film on him. This is a true mixed martial artist, plus skills in all areas, and figures to be a handful, really, for anybody in this division. Probably comfortable tonight anywhere the fight goes. Truly a well-rounded MMA fighter. You know, we, we, we trot that term out there a lot. This guy fits the bill. This guy is one of the toughest guys I have ever seen inside the octagon. His ability to absorb punishment and then come back from it. Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight fight. The American is 33. The Brazilian is 35. Well, always great to be back on the left coast as we get underway here at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. Great to have you with us as always. Nice punch by a Sunsau. We got tagged there. Good defense there. Wow, that was a quick takedown. Change into the southpaw stance now, Joe. And he's looking for that left. Caraway gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Big straight punch. Oh, huge shot there, lands flush. And both guys really throwing with authority. Good shot. Lead kick landed there by a sunset. Orthodox now. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Kick to the body by Carroll. Try some serious power in that kick, but misses. Oh, nice. There's that head kick. Oh, massive kick. Everything behind it. This is crazy. Oh, my goodness. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Armbar, armbar. Throws the other leg over the face. It looks like he's got that armbar locked in tight. And he's got the arm. And this might just be it. And that will do it. A beautiful job in setting up this armbar. Excellent technique. 
Yeah, no doubt about it, Joe. Really impressive work here tonight, the way he worked to secure that arm and ultimately get the submission finish. He was going to stop at nothing to get the arm bar here tonight, and ultimately his opponent is forced to tap. And here's the end. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, five seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm bar. So there he is, your winner by way of submission. And candidly, Joe, I'm not sure this night could have gone any better. He did have some doubters coming in. He said, I got to mute those naysayers. And they're not going to keep quiet unless I can actually get this guy out of there. So mission accomplished. No judges necessary tonight. He gets the submission. And now all that's left is to celebrate with his coaches and training partners. What a moment for this oncoming fighter here tonight. All right, coming up next, it's a women's bantamweight tilt between Chris Cyborg and Raquel Pennington. Riding a nice winning streak here is the UFC Bantamweight contender Raquel Pennington. She's had a knack for coming up in big spots in the biggest fight of her career, UFC 205, a domination of the former champion Misha Tate. Now we'll see if Pennington can take it to the next level. Still under 30 years of age, Rocky Pennington back under the bright lights tonight. This girl has amazing blocking technique. She can stand right in front of you, and you just can't hit her cleanly. She has such a huge advantage in that, and knowing that she... So here she is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC women's featherweight champion, Chris Cyborg. She continues to work her way up the pound-for-pound -pound list, and she continues in dominant fashion to chew up and spit out all contender types in this 145-pound division. The finishes have come, but it's not because Cyborg forces the issue. This is a calculated, cerebral, devastating mixed martial arts effort. This girl is an outstanding striker. She... And here is tonight's tale of the tape. Three years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of nine wins, eight losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, Raquel Rocky Pennington. You ready to fight? Ready. Well, always great to be back in the Pacific time zone. We get underway here at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. Good to have you with us for a night of UFC action. Having won five in a row and seven of her last nine, here is the UFC Women's Bantamweight contender, Raquel Pennington, has a lot of skills that she brings to the table. Most of her finishes have come by way of submission, but don't sleep on the power. Raquel Pennington, one tough customer and a great example of what hard work can do for a fighter. Pennington in yet another huge spot tonight. Trademark inside leg kick there by Cyborg. All right, first round is underway. Let's see how long it takes her to find her range with those vaunted, powerful overhand punches. Obviously, it's a big part of her repertoire, and more often than not in the UFC, even when opponents have known it has been coming, they have been unable to stop. Nice sweep. Good right hand there. Just over three minutes to go. Beautiful sweep. Well, she left her body wide open, Joe, and as such, she paid for it there. Beautifully placed and landed kick to the body. Let's see if she makes the adjustments here defensively to avoid absorbing any more kicks to the body. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active.
She found the target there. That'll work. Good shot. Pennington's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Cyborg gets hit with a kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Another shot. Oh, she planted her on the canvas yet again. So another takedown. She's already landed several. And now they're really starting to pile up here, Joe. And I like the way she's shooting, too. Mixing up the single legs and the double legs, not telegraphing her shots. She's one of the better wrestlers in this division. And she is showing you all of that game here tonight. Nice, very nicely done. And now trying to take the back. Under a minute to go in the round. Lands a kick to the leg. Wow! This could be it. She might try to finish this fight here. Two shots there. Wow! wow. Nice leg kick. a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Nice leg kick. Good punch. Just missed with a huge kick. Sabir gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Very nice timing to these shots here. She works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Takedown attempt starting to pile up. We show you. Wow! This could be it right here. Big body shot. shot. Victory. Yeah, that was just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So big, big knockout win for her here tonight. Let's take a look at it one more time. Here's the knockdown, vicious strike. Great angle here. Boom. With that, we now go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 29 seconds at round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Chris And there she is, ladies and gentlemen. She has the potential to be an app. All right, coming up next, it's a featherweight matchup between Brian T-City Ortega and Yair Rodriguez. So here is the Mexican phenom, El Pantera, Yair Rodriguez. He is still perfect inside the octagon and has really done it with style points every step of the way. Unorthodox striking attack and under Mike Valley has really put it all together. The wrestling and the grappling is there as well. Luis Claudio helping him with his jujitsu. This is a five-tool player in mixed martial arts and only getting better as he continues his assault on this UFC featherweight division. This guy has incredible takedown defense. And of all the fighters in the UFC, he's amongst the most difficult to get to the mat. Dude, 
Dude, how about the hand speed on this guy? Certainly good fighters feel like they can beat speed with timing and precision, but it's hard to get a beat on this guy. And with the punches and bunches and the combinations which keep on coming, a lot of guys are gonna succumb to that accumulation of punches. He's got the power to go with the speed. This guy, a five-tool player on the feet, but the hand speed certainly is what jumps off the floor. This guy has some of the best guard passing or tail to take for this featherweight fight. Ortega is one year the elder. Rodriguez will have a two-inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. You ready to fight? Ready. Well, good to have you with us once again as the UFC returns here to the Honda Center in Anaheim, California, and we are underway. Opens with the inside leg kick. Nice inside leg kick. Connects with the punch there. Huge leg kick. Oh, solid jam. Both guys landing with conviction now. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Rodriguez gets hit with a kick. He appears largely unfazed, but he doesn't want to take too many more of those, Joe. He's, he's throwing some hard shots now. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Ortega's leg appears to be hurt here, Joe. That is an obvious limp. Back and forth we go. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Nice inside leg kick. Oh, he got cracked. That strike blocked by Yair Rodriguez. Able to rip the body there. That one hurt. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Back to the jab now, no good. Missed on the strike attempt there. His stamina has really failed him here tonight. He's got to figure out a way to preserve some energy as this fight moves forward. Leg kick checked nicely by Yair Rodriguez. Switching stances here. I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. Nice punch by Ortega. Head kick blocked. Oh, nice jab there by Rodriguez. Now mixing one into the body. And there he swung with a haymaker. Oh, powerful right leg kick. Whoa! Oh! Inside leg kick. Oh, what a leg kick. Oh, stunning jab. Hard straight punch. Just misses with the straight one. Back to the overhand now. That one's good. Second uh, round, straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. So the horn sounds after that round. Might have even been a 10 8. Big round there from Yair Rodriguez. Yeah, that knockdown should. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. Look for him to go on the attack early in this round to try to pick up where he left off in the last round. His opponent was dazed and in big trouble. Oh, he tagged him. He tagged him with the right hand. He is really finding a home for those body kicks. Effective punch there by Ortega. Beautiful inside leg kick. Clipped him with the jab. Rodriguez's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Clinch up again. And now he's got the title. Oh! Oh! He is hurt here. Man has his chin been tested over. Clean jab. Oh, that head kick landed. 
Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner. Oh! He's in big, big trouble. Oh, he might be out. Under two minutes now in round two. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together. Oh, another shot! He's hurt bad! Oh, he's getting hit! Oh. Whoa! He's in big, big trouble. Half guard. Nicely done, reversal. Oh, strong punch there by Ortega. Wow, that cut on his brow is looking pretty bad, Joe. They might call in the doctor here. Very nice sweep winds up at his opponent's guard. It looks like he may be going for a submission. Now he throws his leg over the shoulder. He's got the Alma Plata locked in. He might get a finish here. This is getting pretty tight. He might be forced to tap. Oh, this fight's over. This fight's over. The round was about to end. Sunk in the submission and got the victory. Yeah, you've got to admire the focus and the commitment to getting the finish. You could tell he was in hot pursuit of that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it, so he sets it up beautifully, lets it materialize almost organically, and ultimately gets the desired result. And here it is again. Absolutely perfectly executed. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 54 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission, due to an Oma Plata. Ryan T. City Ortega! Well, at this point, all that is left is the celebration, and it's nice to see this fighter sharing a moment with his coaches and training partners after the big submission win here tonight. He had no shortage of naysayers coming in. A lot of people said he couldn't come in here and submit a foe of this quality. Well, that should mute the masses a little bit. That should set him up for a big fight moving forward. Tonight, though, as I mentioned, all about the celebration, and it is on in the corner. Only got 41 seconds as a given. Every second bitch, I gotta use it. Somebody blew it and I can make a microphone and I make a... And coming up next, it is a welterweight championship fight between Nate Diaz and Leon Edwards. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. He is out to prove it right here, right now. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of his cage tonight as the... He is the reigning defending undisputed welterweight champion of the world and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15 it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted the question tonight with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner can he walk away and still the champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove he is in his prime right now his training for this bout has been perfect he believes he has a solid game plan and he's ready to step in here and retain his title he is well prepared for this contest or till the tape for this our main event of the evening. Diaz is six years his senior. You ready? You ready? Oh! 
All right, here we go. Will we crown a new UFC welterweight champion tonight? It is time to find out. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Well placed kick there by Diaz. Back to the left hand now, but unable to connect, Joe. Nice defense there, huge block. That one hurt. Oh, he just missed with that straight left hand, Joe. Edwards gets caught by the inside leg kick. Nice shot. Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo, or he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that count. Nice straight left. Oh, beautiful leg kick. Tagged him again, straight left. Good job of timing strikes here. Nice. Tags him. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Inside leg kick. Nice left hook to the body. He really turned that over well. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Well, it looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Under two minutes now to go in the opening round. Good straight left. Outstanding kick there by Edwards. Tries for a low single. Punch is blocked. Diaz gets caught with that punch. Edwards' is lower jaw now, Joe, starting to show some signs of swell. And an outside leg kick lands. Pretty good straight punch for him there, Joe. Blocks the shot. Effective jab there by Edwards. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by Diaz. And he's down! 30 seconds to go. He blocks the punch. Whenever you see a fighter's legs stiffen up like that, that's not a good sign. Oh, he landed the nice one, too. Beautiful right hand. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Round two is next. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. Really excellent striking being displayed in that round. You ready? You ready? All right, second round underway. All right, so second round underway. A little bit of a feeling out process, I guess, in that first round. Entertaining action on both sides. Nothing that wowed the crowd necessarily, Joe, but your thoughts ultimately on what we saw over those first five minutes. Hit him with the jab. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, nice strike landed there by Edwards. Good shots by the champion. Well, if he's going to slow his opponent down at all, Joe, he's got to think about mixing things up a little bit. Translation, some strikes to the body. Constantly a moving target. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Check that one. Snapping off that jab. Diaz gets hit with a kick. That looked like it hurt you. Nice punch by Edwards. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. The inside leg kick is there by Diaz. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, nice punch there by Edwards. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's gonna be busy. 
Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Diaz. Visibly limping here. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been run and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches and punches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it. 90 seconds now in round two. Edwards gets caught by the inside leg kick. Oh, slips the punch there, Joe. He missed that kick. Well, once again, he gets clipped up top, Joe, and again, he continues to show that vulnerability, leaning into his opponent's offense. Got to figure out a way to make the adjustments, change up the tempo, and get that head off the center line. Oh, multiple strikes landing here. He has certainly found the range here in this round. I control here. 20 seconds to go round two. Trying to take the back here. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Here we see some high-level striking. You have the power to put this guy down to show that nobody's not coming down like that. You ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, that's a good strike there by Diaz. Oh! Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. Nice kick there by Edwards. He's taking some shots now. And the chance of Diaz ring through the crowd. Oh, that's good. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Absolutely. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, he's doing a good job of throwing punches and kicks from all angles here. Really doing a great job of mixing things up. Edwards gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave him off. Good exchange there. And that is the first strike to the body he has landed all night. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Diaz. Well, he may need to drop the elbows here defensively, Joe. How much more body damage can he take? Oh! Oh, how about the multiple strikes landing here? That is a serious offensive barrage. Diaz gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh. Big left hand! He is stumbling. The champ is in big trouble. He's in deep danger right now. Who saw this coming? He is going after it here. Nasty That's leg it. kick. He's not going to be able to continue. That's it. It's over. Tremendous TKO. Great stoppage by the referee. Yeah, wouldn't mind seeing that again. Exciting flurry at the end of this fight. It was the one big strike that started it all, dropped the opponent, led to Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at three minutes of round number three. You're playing the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Leon Rocky Edwards. Well, he's been talking about those two words throughout fight week and new UFC champion, he completes the mission here tonight, and you can see the emotion spilling over. Absolutely incredible what this fighter was able to accomplish, and it is gonna take a special performance to deep.